Hare Krishna everyone, welcome to Salesforce Helping Hand channel. My name is Alpur Japati and today I'm going to share with you one of the very complex questions which are asked in multiple companies, okay? So today I collect uh, a very important 10 apex based interview questions. Some are coding based or some are, you can say a practical things, right? So don't wait and let me share my screen so I can show you along with the answer, okay? Hope you can see my screen. Okay, great. So guys, today we are going to discuss, as I already told you, top 10 complex question for more than four years of experience in Salesforce development. Now, the first questions interviewer asks is, how would you design an Apex class that dynamically perform CRUD operations on any S object passed into it, right? So they want to understand is let's say you have built one uh, uh, utilized class, right? And you are passing any objects related details and how you will process it. So expected concept is use S object and type dot for name. Okay, then dynamic DML and bulkification. So these three are expectation concept from this particular questions. Now, the simple answer approach is you can utilize like this. So let's say it's a class name is dynamic CRUD service. And I'm just giving the method name public static void absurd record. And as an input parameter, but what we are expecting is we are expecting string as an object name and list map of string as an object, right? So records, right? So now these records are nothing but these are the uh details you know for that particular object right so what we have is we have the list of as object to insert what we need to insert and now we have the map so inside this map so in the records what we get so we will check here right so we'll iterate uh according to the map like whatever uh, you know data we have and it will iterate it is not checking, you know, particular uh, for single object. It is checking whatever object will pass from there. It will check, right? And then it just check. It's, it's just asking the name from the schema, and then you know, doing the uh, this. We are putting the key and uh, we are putting the value, right? So value means the object records. And then what we are doing is we are adding into the list, and then we are insertion of that particular record. So this is the solution for this particular answer, guys. Now let me move for next question. So next question they ask is, you are asked to create a framework to retry a failed integrations using Apex. And how would you uh, design your Apex class to achieve this? So expected concept, <clears throat> what they are looking for, ret uh, logic should be retry custom metadata or object, uh, object to track failures and schedule level or queuable should be there as a part of implementations and the expansion uh, back off should be there, right? So we need to create a integration attempt object with the fields like payload, retry count, next attempt or status and use a uh, queuable class to process attempts records and use schedule apex class to enqueue queuable apex where next attempt is less than equals to now. Okay, so this is my approach, you know, guys, for uh, achieve these solutions. Maybe you have many and any other, and there are n numbers of solution, right? So, but what I thought is best. So, according to their requirement, I can use this. Now, the third question they ask is: Design a generic apex class to enforce FLS and CRUD programmatically across multiple object, right? So what we have to do is we have to use schema describes schema methods or so security methods and reusability and abstractions here, okay? So simple utility class is, I mean, simply we can give security service. And then in the class we are uh, passing from the, you know, from wherever we are calling this particular class and method. So we will pass as object name and field name and access type. Okay, so then we have the schema dot describe result. Describe result. We are uh, you know 
taking a variable and then what we are doing is schema dot get global describe get object name and get describe right so we just get the describe result okay and then what we are same thing we are doing from the field okay and then you know we get the field using this method and then we are checking access type is read then return the data will be accessible create createable update updatable so using this this is the sample code guys you may be implement in more way okay for exactly check the functionality okay now how would you design an apex class to monitor and log governor limits consumptions across a transaction so this is very important questions how would you design apex class to monitor and log governor limits consumptions across a transactions because while we are writing a solution so we have to make sure we are not crossing the governor limits guys right so we should be always respect to the governor limit so expected concept here is a limit class and uh, you know we have the transactions monitoring and we have the custom logic uh, logging object sorry okay and we can also use like uh, limit dot uh, get x uh, method before after and significant code blocks right so store values in log uh, log object okay then let's say we have a custom limit logger and we have one method which is called log governor limits right and we are passing the operations what operations needs to be passed so here we are doing the same you know inside this log object we are operations get a sql queries data statements right and hip size okay so everything we are capturing you know inside this limit logger so this will tell us what is the current limit of our apex class right how would you create a plugin based architecture in apex for business process like discount calculation so expected concept is interface uses dynamic class in uh, installations and strategy pattern so we'll create a interface with the discount strategy you know we can we can say like decimal calculate discount and inside this we can have you know this decimal and amount implement multiple strategies you know we can have this class and implement that interface here because we are having that method so we have to use this interface right and we can just pass the 0 0.51 factory class to in uh, initiation so we have to use a discount factory class and discount factory class will check if the type is premium then return the new premium discount if type is standard then return the standard discount if otherwise throw in new exceptions no strategy found so this is the way we can achieve this right now the next question they ask is how would you create an apex class that validate a json payload structure before inserting records so what is our expected concept here is json visualize untyped scheme validations and defensive programming right so what we'll do is we'll create a json validator apex class and inside that class we have this is validate account payload methods and we are just passing the json payload as a string parameters right and then we have taken the map here string with the object right and uh, in this uh, you know whatever we we got this we are deserializing this bit right and uh, in the form of string and object so then we are checking if contain key name string dot is name dot uh, get name then return false otherwise written true and we are also having the exception handling here guys okay so seventh question is you have been asked to ensure an apex class support multi-currency organizations what should you consider so accepted concept is currency iso code and multi-currency org so always explicitly set currency as a code in dml operations use as you like select name currency as a code from opportunity don't hard code currency logic user info don't get uh, default currency or custom metadata for exchange rate right how would you refactor apex code that perform as you inside the loop and causing performance issue so yes we have expected concept bulkification and map set use right so this, this is the bad code which can be cause of the this particular error right and this is what we can refactor is we can uh, use a collection collection means set map list right so we are using set here and we are collecting the id right from this loop account id and then we are filling this map 
and after filling this map we are having one more loop where we are doing you know uh, these details right and later on we can do the dml operations if required question number 9 and second last is how would you design an apex class to implement row level security and row level security checks manually so here expected concept is sharing rule and manual enforce for custom access logic use with sharing wherever possible if not query only records the user own as access and you can query user record access object right so this is the way we can query select record has read access from user record access where id is user phone input it id and decode in this particular list or set now the last question is how do you how would you implement optimistic concurrency in apex example uh, avoid overwriting record change by others so expected concept is record versioning and last modify or custom version fields right answer retrieve record with the last modify date because this is the stamp on each and every record we get second is <clears throat> before update compare to ensure that no one else modify it and the third one is if mismatch prevent update or prompt for confirmation so guys these all are the questions which are very important and uh, complex one which may be asked you also if you are preparing for any mncs or any mid level company so for more such scenarios stay tuned thank you so much bye bye